Welcome to the Hunter Hunter Kill Count. Let's not waste any time here. Here are the rules. I have to see the death. And that's it. So we don't have to worry about anything happening until like episode four, where they just get to the second part of the exam. And there's the fake examiner. But since they were just a man faced ape, I feel that that isn't easy to count. So let's just move on. I know that we're going to be counting ants later, but and this is not episode five. Now in episode five, there's oh, oh, that's one. That's two. OK, that's 12 from the claymore mushrooms now these are only hypnosis butterflies but i can't imagine i'd see these guys later uh considering what's around them so let's say that these all is another four all right with that drop that is eight thanks to a cliff and the ruse raven now that's nine guys against Hisoka, all smoked. And then there's this one remaining, the leader of the group. Uh, oh, and there's the one. All right, cool. That's a uh, good 10. Now, my goodness, this is just episode five. Okay, there's a lot more to go through. And we're at how many kills? I'm just as surprised as you are. Episode six, that guy's dead. Those three are cooked too, you know, cooked because they're chefing in this episode. No? All right. Episode seven. These two guys try to argue with a child. Unfortunately, they did not know or understand that this child was Kilua Zoldik. So everyone needs a person who know, who just like finds out for us all, you know, and this guy is the first. And because of it, he's blown away by this giant winged baby monster or something. Episode 10, Hisoka adds another tally to his kill sheet with his fight against Togari. And you know, Togari kind of reminds me of Chu from Yu Yu Hakusho, but like, you know, it's a Yu Yu Hakusho character, so Togashi's allowed to do that. There's nothing wrong with self-referencing. Episode 11, Kilua shows us his shadow step and his Ultra Instinct before Ultra Instinct and adds another body with his battle against Janus. Now in episode 15, when trying to initiate a fight with Hisoka, this character named Gaz just dies because he was already fatally wounded from getting into it with Illumi previously. Illumi also confirms that he blapped this sniper that tried it. And apparently the sniper's the name is Sniper, but just without the end, Cyper or Sipper or something like that. Episode 16, while Gon is fishing for some points, uh, Hisoka smokes this guy with a sword. And while Gon is running away from Hisoka, Greta has already got the drop on him. Uh, Hisoka returns Gon his button because, you know, he got everything back from Greta, who he also smoked. So in episode 16, we're going to add another two. Like, dude, the show's called Hunter Hunter and Hisoka is doing exactly that. Episode 17, the gang is caught up in a snake trap by a posthumous bourbon. Not the drink. Ponzu turned the dude into a pincushion, but bourbon got the frame traps. And while it was set up so that was going to fail, uh, it did. So that's only one. Zoners do not prosper. Episode 20. Now, uh, <sighs> Even with the context, all right, let's get to the serious one more. Uh, this is probably one of the biggest, like, what the heck moments in Hunter. The next death is Botaro, and he didn't even do anything. Like, he, he was just, he's just a martial artist who's, uh, you know, he failed a lot, but like, you know, who doesn't? And this was supposed to be his, his fight against Leorio, and he is smoked by Kiwa. I, I think this also tracks back to when Kilua was pissed with Netero and just smoked those two guys from before. And I can definitely understand that Kilua is going through a, 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 a hell of a lot, you know? But, but God, like, 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 damn, bro. Like, Botaro, you didn't even do nothing. Uh, after this, there is a dry period in deaths, which probably, be, it's probably a good thing considering how wild the Hunter license exam arc was, but Let's do a checklist, you know, for the time being. We're already at the midpoint. Uh, we have a total of 52 for the Hunter license exam arc. 32 people killed by the exams. 13 
kills by Hisoka. It's a pretty, pretty good number. Kibua got four. Iumi got two. And Ponzu, of all people, got a good one. On to the next art. Episode 32. This episode is in the Heavens Arena arc. It's also the only kill we get here, too. And, you know, if, since you already consumed Hunter, or, or at least, well, maybe I hope, but I don't know why you'd be here, but... This is in the famous battle of Hisoka versus Castro. Unfortunately, a clone and the Wolf Fang Fist, that's what it is, let's be honest, was not enough to defeat the Joker. Episode 43. Ah, that's far, you know? I thought this was called like Hunter Hunter. It was from 32 to 43. There was there's no bodies. Where's the honey? Come on, man. Uh, anyways, uh, our first kills back. I, well, they're, they're here. That's, that's where the kills are because this is probably one of our biggest pileups in like these next couple of arcs, even the previous ones. All right. The Phantom Troop goes completely wild on this underground mafia auction. I had to make a stitched photo of this panning shot to get all the bodies that we have laid out because Franklin in like one clip, I, I, well, I don't really know how to explain his weird Frankenstein anatomy, but Franklin takes out 119 mafia members with this. I had to count that. Until we get further, this might be the largest massacre by like any character. Uh, then there's also one of Nostrad's bodyguards who also dies to Franklin, uh, the clone guy, Tochino and that makes it 120. I wanted to add this kill after because Shizuku also makes sure that there's no survivors left during that whole scuffle and smokes, buys, and Eve Lenkov. So York knew, you know, in this singular episode doubles all of the arcs before it combined. And I'm not even done with this. This episode isn't even complete. It's time for Uvogin. That's one. And in this rampage, we'll see many people getting smacked up, but I have a stitched photo for this. So these three aren't surviving this, but here's the image. There are 30 mafia members laid out. So I'll say everyone that's getting smacked up is most likely present in this photo by the end of it. And after getting pegged in the head with a bullet, Uvo gets his get back. But what's so crazy is that, you know, Goku's reaction to getting hit with a rock is a lot more dramatic than Uvo with a sniper rifle. So I guess that says a lot about Krillin. Uh, anyways, so a few willing members of the gang want to help contribute to Uvogin's kill streak by challenging his durability with a bazooka? As you can imagine, uh, it didn't work. Nen is very powerful. They try to escape, but yeah, there, there wasn't a chance. But let's say that some anime stuff happened and the previous bodies despawned and these from this perspective are the ones that we saw just getting smacked. That would be about 16 new bodies. And now it's time for episode 44. The Uvogin episode. After messing up their hand from punching Uvo and trying to keep him stuck by burrowing into the ground with his arm, Worm faces, and I, I don't say this in any low key, this is in the highest key possible, he faces complete obliteration. Th this is what Yugi was talking about when he means Exodia obliterate, like this guy's life points, gone. Do -do 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 -do. It's gone. This is the shadow round. And next, Uvo takes a bite out of the competition. That boy, Leech, rest in peace. It is also crazy because like you're going to be biting a leech like that's bad for your health. It's got to be. Now this, this is an unblockable projectile, buddy. So rabbit dog out like a log right here. That is a stab boom burst. Porcupine has run out of time. You know, I, 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 bars, come on, man. What are we talking about? Now, after this, Kurapika gets Uvo all wrapped up. So that's about all the deaths that we get in this episode. Episode 45. So I love that Shizuku actually helps me out with the following members of the Shadow Beast because since there's 10 in total and Uvogin took out four 
the remaining six shadow beasts here meet their fate against the troop. But, 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 we know that Krollo uses Owl's Nen ability in the fight against the Zoldix. So that has to mean that Owl was still alive in that instance and only five shadow beasts die here. And this, this is the last death of this episode because this is when Finks takes care of Dio. Yes, his name is in Dio. Yeah, sure, whatever. Nah, I won't be telling you what it is though. I want you to, I want you to just feel it. Just be like, yo, yeah, that's the voice of Dio. Dalzin, Dal, Dalzin, Dalzin. That's the guy. That's his name. I told you, anyways. I'm sorry. Episode 46. Franklin passes by what looks like one of their hired men. Um, what? Who? Who? Who, who do we give the number to? Who did that? We don't know. And then there's these two later on in the episode. Episode 48, the battle against Uvogin. Oh yeah, strong. And Kurapika, also, yeah, strong. Just doesn't like look the part really. Uh, a masterclass in, in fighting powers and in animation that many would learn from. Uh, unfortunately, we're not learning here, we're counting. So yeah, there's one for the episode. Episode 51. The troop has gotten the news of Uvo. Ah, our heart. And it's time for their get back soon. Now this guy, this guy wanted to track down Krola like he's prey. He thought that he was that guy. He thought he was Metal Gear Solid. He thought that he was Snake. Unfortunately, like Kilua, Krolo is not the one. He's not the one. And these two are super de duper blabbed. Ah, now Krolo's Requiem happens after a lot of these, but for montage purposes, we'll bring it here. Now this, even while it's still Hunter, this is Requiem. That's six for Finks and Phaeton, five for Franklin, two for Phaeton, six for Finks, four for Shalnark, one for Pakunoda, and 11 for Machi. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the remix. Another six for Franklin, four more for Phaeton, six for Finks, and one more for Shalnark. On to episode 52. Here's one of the most critical fights of Hunter. Krollo faces against this clown and... Oh, oh no, wrong, wrong clown, wrong clown. A mafia member controlled by Shalnark takes out another six because the troop, you know, they're trying to close in on Kurapika as we speak. Phaeton and Finks get one each with this flash kill. Uh, good thing that they're playing Earth, so there's reduced cooldowns. This guy on the phone, Bean, here's someone die, but I'm just gonna give this number to the entire troop since we don't know who did it. Kurapika finds one of the hired assassins, most likely taken out by Krolo and his many pens i don't i don't like how many does he have on him i thought he was a copycat guy with like a, with a book this guy this guy's like the pen hunter like like who's john wick like come on man this guy's got multiple pens episode 53 in this shot there are six guards but because of how big of a job that the 10 duns are i imagine that they're dunzo we don't really get confirmation but like it's the zoldix they didn't knock these guys out in this shot these are the 10 dons uh they're all dead here they're, they're, they're done so kaput also later on yumi confirms that they're all dead on his call with his dad siruva like just to double check that also the character we saw earlier on the phone uh bean he dies here to machi it's very interesting because when looking up his name you find out like not only is his name bean and there's another character named beans but this guy is voiced by the voice of the announcer in smash 4. now getting to this episode i will say that my heart definitely sank because i never really expected to feel so bad for a character that you know, I, I don't see much in this entire franchise, granted because of this arc. But Togashi really did his job with Squala, I feel. This really sucked for me. And honestly, I'm still upset about this happening years after seeing it because I was like, wow, I didn't know I, I, I cared about this character this much at like this the extent that his death went. And I'm honestly sorry that it happened to him. 
So whenever Nobunaga drops, you know, I'll be doing my own little requiem for you too, Squala. And episode 58, Kurapika gets another part of the spider by taking out Pakunoda. Or well, I guess she took herself out technically. It, it's all for the spider. You know how it is. Now the next arcs are Greed Island and the Chimera Antarch, but I won't be finalizing the numbers until the next video of this. So if this video gets good reception, I'll be sure to prioritize it. But yeah, thank you all for watching and Godspeed.